with us in the studio, comedian Tim Allen. Uh, Terrific I, comedian, I, I, currently I, I, being I, seen I, I, on I, I, HBO. I, now, you love tools. Yeah. You're, you're Mr. Fix-It. I love Sears. Do you? This mm. craftsman tool department makes my nipples rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> I just cruise around my house like Bob Vila, you know, with a bad headache. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just looking for stuff. I look at it. I notice Grandma's easy lift chair isn't moving quite as quick as I'd like it to. <laughs> so I pop down the hardware store, pick up a compressor, some hose, some coax cable. I wire that sucker up. I forget Grandma lost some weight in the years I look at. Got the 140 pounds a little too high, isn't it, Grandma? <laughs> Shot that bitch halfway across the kitchen there. <laughs> Goylies following her. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. I'll dial that baby down as soon as I rewire Grandpa's hearing aid. <laughs> I got a preamp on that son of a bitch. <laughs> Presiding over a symbolic condom roast in his Catholic Church's parking lot in Waterbury, Connecticut. Mm, yes, I love those. The Reverend Joseph Looney protested. Mesquite condom me. roast. Mmm, <laughs> very tasty. I'd like that black and please. It makes it look bigger. And then, <laughs> It looks so good at a shish kebab, too. A little pepper, a little bell pepper, mm. condom, tomato. Mm. What's the name of this reverend? Oh, Reverend Joseph Looney. I'm not kidding. Looney? Joseph Looney? Looney, yes. Fits. Yes, he protests what he calls the condemnation of the United States and declared that condoms mean cheap sex, yuppie love, calculated non-involvement, and he hopes that condom roasts will be held all over the country. Did you say condemnation? Yes, or... condemnation. Okay. You know that guy died that invented the condom? Really? Did? really? Yeah. Up to $60 million estate, but no heirs. <laughs> 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 anyway. But you know. No. <laughs>